a hard afternoon of the try today against the Thing Creek. Yeah, it's what you expect. You know, Wellies has got a very good side. They're um, they've been playing together for a while now, and they've got a good togetherness, as I said. And credit to them for that. Uh, they made it difficult at times. They they filled the midfield to try and stop us trying to play through them. But credit to us, you know, we we again dominated possession. First half, particularly, we moved the ball with real intensity, um, and I felt like they struggled to get close to us. Um, second half, they made a bit more of a game of it um, through our own errors, really. Again, similar to last week's performance in Bichelli, we just dropped slightly, and it allows teams to come on to us. But thankfully, um, two goals, clean sheet, and three points was the main thing today. So, you think Ruthin came this afternoon with a plan to for straight Port Maddock on the pitch? Yeah, you know, they're hard working, honest lads, and, and you know, I'm sure Wellies had them organised to. To the strip that rhythm um, and and to try and counter, I guess, because they've got a lot of pace in their side, um, and as I said, they have got quality. Um, so were you happy with the passing and movements throughout the game then? Of course, that, yeah. At, you at know, times there was a lot of passing and lots of movement, but not not many forth uh, moving balls. I, you know, though we've got a we moved the ball for a reason. We moved the ball to 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 bring the opposition out of their their positions, and you know, credit to the they were disciplined and they they. Didn't allow us to to maybe create the space sometimes that we we so often do, but it's not just to say that we kept the ball for nothing. We did move the ball forward and we did play quickly at times when needed. We created good chances, and like I said, two nil and a win in a clean sheet is most important thing. You said with the passing, but the first goal came from a long ball from the back straight off to the front. Well, we defended a set piece, um, you know, and, and aerially we've got strength here really so as I said we've cleared the ball from a set piece it's dropped into a bookhand he's played a lovely through ball to, to calf and calf from the halfway line still had a lot to do mm. he's carried the ball sort of 30 40 yards and finished well so playing with Sean Cavanagh at the front is that a change from the last few weeks with Dale having the main man up front in front of goal yeah you know it's an opportunity today to freshen things up um, Dale's been great um, Especially with losing Joe Chaplin and Julian Williams, mm. Dale stepped in. He's 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 really um, taken well to the role. He's new to this league, new to the team. Mm. People forget, you know, it was only two months ago when he had a quite a bad injury, and he, he was only just returning. So Cav come in today, a bit of bit of freshness, gives a bit more depth, movement, and um, I'm pleased for Cav because he deserved the goals. What can you say about penalties? They're not hitting the back of the net, Craig. <laughs> You know what, we, we we take penalties every week in training and the lads are fined for them. Um, and more often than not, Griff John scores 9 out of 10. Um, credit to Ryan Goldstone, it's a great save. Um, but I know Griff John's extremely disappointed in himself. Top scorer at missing the penalty. It definitely, yeah. Second goal secured the points, but three points at the end of the day and then moving on to next week and that away trip to Gillsfield. Yeah, as I said, 2-0, clean sheet, three points. That was the, that was the job done and... You know, looking at the table, there's teams in and around us picking up points, and we just got to make sure we do our job. Um, Gillsfield next week will not be an easy game. It's one of the toughest places to go in the league, um, but we are confident at the moment. Momentum's on our side, and I hope to think that we'll we'll continue with our good run next week. Just to finish the Welsh Cup, Clan United away. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, great tie, great tie for us. Um, I know Chris, their manager, and I know some of the lads. They're a good side. Um, and it won't be an easy game. It'll be a tough game for us, but we're one we're looking forward to. But as I said, Gillsfield first. Don't forget the 5-1 a couple of years ago. Definitely. Don't forget that. Dear Craig. Dear.